four players remain here in the third heat of late night poker ace. Eliza first to speak. Raise. And two Raise ladies for the lady. Raise all in. All in from Chris behind her. And uh Oh, he's in trouble, and Eliza's not laying these down. 1,700 in total. <laughs> oh, what a decision for John. Well, John must know that there's no way that Eliza's passing. The raise from Chris is not enough for her to pass. So it's a question of whether he thinks one of them has got a pair bigger than his. is massive and John has 400 in the big blind but does he want to play for all his chips wow that's a big decision for him yeah. he's played so well tonight he really should pass when there's been a raise followed by a re-raise you can't expect to have tens winning boy Eliza she's breathing heavy do you think she knows her hand is best, doesn't she? Yeah. She's, she's, uh, d let me tell you, she's going to be calling so fast. <laughs> the look at her face. Raise all in. Oh, no! Dear. Oh, dear. Oh John, dear. over the top of both of them. Well, this could be the wrong move at the right time, Jesse. I've seen this happen before, and a 10 pops up. 3,000 in total. John has had, he's had enough information to know that his hand is not good in this situation. There's no way that Eliza's going to pass. Oh, cool. She's got a 1650 back. She has called. Right, now. you are. <laughs> Two players all it's in uh, here. Eliza, Eliza with the best hand. She could triple up. Uh, well, the interesting thing here is that uh, John oh, could get lucky in it at 10. But of course, Chris, who's so made this move for the king queen, queen with the weakest hand, could get lucky and hit a king. Eliza tens. wins this pot over half the time. The happiest player at the table, Darren, sweating bullets is Chris. He needs a king. That's a great pot for Eliza. Pair of queens is in front. She wants oh, nothing I over a nine. Two cards Here's to come. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's all over. And last card is a three. And she ends and up with Isaac another full house. And wow. Chris, and we lose uh, Chris Newman. And John Blackhurst has been severely damaged. A pot for the ages. Eliza Burnett takes them all off. Chris Newman, out of here. In the last hand, uh, it was disappointing, obviously. I had King Queen of Hearts. Um, no one seemed to be catching any cards. It was getting very tight. Uh, the only way to raise was to push all my chips in because of the blinds. So uh, I thought it was worth, worth a crack. It's too close to call at the moment. The, um, it, any of the last four could have won it, depending on how the, ca how the cards fell, particularly with three people all in on that, that hand that I went out. Um, and I think John will be very close behind because it left him with very few chips as well. Uh, between the two, I really can't say. After that amazing hand, Eliza is now the big chip leader with 7,100. Darren watched it all from afar and is sitting pretty with 4,500. John's in deep trouble. Three players left. Some poker to be played here. And John Blackhurst, the lone duckling in the middle of these two wolves. Uh, this interesting play here by Darren. He just flat called, knowing full well that uh, John's going to go all in. Nice. And he's obviously hoping that uh, Eliza's going to check it down with him and, and, and they're going to be down to two players. They'll try and chop him up, and that pair pretty good for Darren. This is not the time to bluff Eliza. Oh, John check. Blackhurst all in and needing a miracle. Darren checked immediately. Darren's quite happy to check this down. In fact, there's no check, card in the check. deck that can win John Blackhurst this pot. Nope, you're check, right, Jesse. Check. That's it. I'm afraid check. we've just lost John Blackhurst from chip leader. He's out. Check, because there's a pair of checks for Darren. At the end of the day, it was just down uh, one, three, one mistake. One. Six nine was the nine high will be his swan win song. Here. Nine three is for Eliza. So Darren wins the hand. The damage John for John Blackhurst up. came with the two tens. Yeah. He's played a great game tonight. Just fell short on his way back to Weston, Supermare. I'd like to think I played quite well. 
Um, I think I was, uh, we were quite an aggressive table, I felt. It'd be uh, interesting to see some of the, uh, uh, the replays, to see exactly what some of the cards were. Playing live is, is very different to, uh, to playing internet poker. Um, certainly, uh, I uh, had to concentrate a lot more um, playing a uh, live game. Um, uh, as internet uh, poker players are able to play three or four tables at once um, and, uh, and watch a movie and have tea. Um, so uh, a live game is, uh, is very different. Um, I like to think I cope quite well um, and, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll try again. Head to head here in Cardiff. And Simon Trumper, two left, one going to the final, Eliza Burnett and Darren Carmen. How do you handicap it? Well, to be honest with you, even though uh, Eliza has a chip lead here, she's got 6,700 to Darren's 5,300. She's going to have to change up cool. her gear and start raising cool. um, because if she keeps calling, which is her tendency, right. I think that Darren, uh, when he has the button, is going to steal a lot of the blinds, which is going to give him an edge over her. Blinds are 200 and 400, and Eliza has limped in. Flop coming for free, and she's flopped the best hand. Action on Darren. Check. Check. Eight. 800. Big bet from Eliza. Pass. Size of the pot will take the money. And uh, if Eliza... She's got more chips. If she keeps flopping the best hand, Simon, there's nothing Darren's going to be able to do to stop her, is there? No, you're absolutely right there, Jesse. And with the blinds so high, I mean, uh, it's only going to take one or two confrontations to end this. Here in head-up play, Simon, the small blind is on the button. Sort of a, a feature of head-up play. They act first before the flop and second on the flop and after. Absolutely. And it's, it's all about aggression, um, you know, your cards become irrelevant, really. You must use the button. Raise. To eight. Raise to 800. Double the bet, Darren, with a queen high. Cool. Well, he's, he's made a mistake here, really. He, he must know that Eliza is not going to pass for a small raise. So if you're going to raise to to pick up the blinds, you've got to raise big. Straight draw for both players. You like Eliza's better. Check. She's open on both ends. Wow. Five or ten. Darren doesn't want to see a five, that's for sure. If he hits a pair of fives, 600. Eliza makes her straight. He's made the same mistake again. He's bet too low. Cool. See, she's going to take a card. Well, Eliza not far behind. She may have won the pot right there if she raised, but as it is, a lot of cards for her. That is not one of them. Check. And Darren might be terrified. Does he have any idea that Queen High is leading? Check. <laughs> wow. Oh, bingo. Well, how much is she going to bet? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten is a straight for Eliza. She loved that card. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. <laughs> Darren is trying to make them change. He can rub them. He can look at them. But in the end, Pass. it's only a queen high. Give the money to Eliza straight on the river. And Darren is going to be fighting from a very thin skin. Yeah, Eliza's got virtually a three to one chip lead now. 28 years old, living in London now. Both these players, first time on television for one on one, but they are handling the pressure remarkably well at this late night poker race tournament. We're looking here for the best amateur poker player in the UK. Eliza grinding Darren down here, head up. Darren on the button and the small blind. 200 to call. Nice. And uh, that's a deep reach. Two fours. 2,000. 
raised to 1,000.